All right, we have made it over here to the first tee of the Seaside course. 18 holes today, straight up. Same tees, George. You're not giving me any shots. George on the way here said, how many shots do I need? Oh, stop. And I was joking. You're playing good right now. We are being honest, though, Grant. How many strokes? Or a different tee box. I'll let you play it up, T. No, we're doing this straight up, George. Straight up today. <laughs> 18 holes, same tee box. Okay, same tee box. Same tee box. All right. All day. I got I to try and beat you. I've wanted this match for a long time. 18 holes of straight up stroke play golf. Nice. Yep. Holy cut. The waves are taking it more than more than a cut. Perfect. Good start. That feels great. I just hit a 20 yard cut, guys. It's a new something something's changing. Holy shit. <laughs> I think you got me there, George. That was nice. I like that one. Rode the wind, high fades, a little knuckly. Good start, man. Guys, that's that's how you started out. A lot of golf today. I, I've seen this match requested because I think people want to know how close George and I are in skill level. I can wholeheartedly say George is a very, very good golfer and he's better than me. But I think on my good day, I can hang around. George! Hey, man. Welcome to the RSM Seaside Classic course. course. Yeah, this welcome to the PJ Tour event. Literally. Me and you, playoff. 18 0 playoff. 18 0 playoff at a PGA Tour course today. It's good. I, I've thought about this video for a long time. You guys know I love stroke play. I love doing these 18 hole videos. And having a final score at the end of this video is golden. No matter no matter how good, bad, or indifferent, strokes will be tallied up at the end. Mm -hmm. And the champion will be crowned. 118. 118. 117. You're caddying for him today, too? Yeah, someone's got to be the uh, mature elder statesman. Yeah, 117. To the wicker basket here. First shot here is 117 yards. Got a 52 degree. Gonna try and hit Carney. He's the guy up at the green. Try and hit him. Ooh. Oh, what is this? I've no. never seen you fade a wedge like that. I've never faded a wedge like that. I've heard some tour pros talk about, you know, sometimes showing up to the range and just randomly hitting a fade and they usually draw it, and so we're just gonna roll with it today. That's what they do. You just gotta roll with what you got sometimes. Dang it, missed a fairway. All right, George. I mean, George has Q school coming up, so this is a this is a really big momentum back. booster. 101, Ooh, good yardage, 101. A little flyer lie off this wet rough. Looks like the pin's long, so we're gonna get, or pin's in the back. We'll just play like a 98 shot. It lands 100 yards. Grant looks like he's in there pretty close, so. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh a little short. Hey, that's good. Okay. I'll take that. Good divot. Not bad. I think you're actually like really solid, like 15 feet. Yeah. The pin looks, that's what's deceiving and, and makes this course tricky is like from back there, it looked like the pin was in the back. You can't go long, but when you get up here, you have more space. Um, but we, you know, we have 20 feet on the first hole for birdie. Grant's in there about 12. Good start. Hop. Now pulled it. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! You gotta finish everything out today, so. Are you oh, finishing right. up? I'm gonna go finish out. Oh my. But. Alright. I got your nerves up. A little bit, but this. If you make this, you're one up at one, one up through one. You're leading. Leading a tour event. Gosh. Oh, I thought I made it. You gotta pull it a little bit? I did just a little bit. Nice. That is a Ooh. what? That was scary. Yeah, that was that was scary. You don't want to leave yourself with a little slippery three and a half footer there. But even par to even par after the first hole. Missed a good opportunity to take a one up lead, but par four coming up here. Grant, you're keeping score today, right on that beautiful little piece of paper. Sure. You know what? I'm you, not this hole. The next third hole, I hit the most beautiful six iron you've ever seen. Or the cut five iron, right over the pin. You remember like oh my every God, shot it was beautiful. from college? I mean, you're like, shot. did you like peak in college, dude? Seriously. <laughs> So mature. But fit that so 2010 was a so that's what 13 years ago? Mm -hmm. That I remember a golf shot that I hit 13 years ago. You remember the yardage? Uh, it was like on the tee box, like 200, 190, whatever, but a cut five iron, six iron right over the pin. That is the like special beautiful. thing about golfers, is they seem to remember every shot they've hit and the yardage. But terrible memory otherwise. Yeah. I don't even know what I ate for breakfast yesterday. Also, guys, really quick, I don't, I've talked about it a couple times, but I have a code GRANT15, and if you want any Primo apparel, 
you guys can use that code to get a discount. I also have a collection that is live with Primo. I'm not sure if there's any items left at this point, but you guys can also use the code on my collection. So it works, it works for everything. This, I'm now like remembering right now, this is one of the tighter golf courses you'll see. I mean, this tee shot here, you have to absolutely thread it. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a very, very important club today. Just inside of, it looks like, just inside the bunker with a cut. I think it's black. Here we go. Second hole here is 393. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Win. Oh, bunker. Oh, phew. Stay by the bunker. Don't like stay by the bill. <laughs> okay, George. George is feeling spicy today. We're going to have to... It's going to be spicy. You change, George. I'm telling you, this year of the beast thing, it's real. He's scary now. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Get in the water. Oh no. Go no, no. in the water. Stop. <gasps> oh no. It might be far enough. Oh no. But it also might be in the water. I think that's so good, but the wind just kept taking it. Hey, this it is all... huge. If he's in the water, I'm all here but for it. All, honestly, I'm playing a tournament out here. I am hitting hybrid, playing out there and having four three wood or something. Probably not driver, but we're YouTube golf. We're sending it. But at the same time, it looked nice to hit driver. It might have bit me in the butt, but also I might have like 60 yards in the middle of fairway. Oh no. Yeah. You're... No, but right here. Oh. Uh, 380 to carry on that line. 303. You got No, this went 303. It's probably like, this, we're 15 yards closer. And down uh, went, it might, it might be far enough to left. I think we're fine. Fall sort I don't know, man. I'm worried for you. I am side. too. Everyone, you guys know how much of a roller coaster I ride. This could be, I might not be able to recover from this. I might be such in a bad spot. I'm in the water. I just hit in the water. Like, what are you doing? You have the world left. We got 143 yards. We're in this bunker. Take a little bit off an eight. Where is it? Right at it. What a shot. Dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was scary for some reason. Cause if I go long, it can roll into the water. <laughs> He's up. That was per I told you the driver hole. Everyone knows this driver hole. I mean, look how much room you have up here. You're hanging on by a thread. It's gonna make a birdie. Watch this sick birdie. All right, George, see what you do with this unbelievable amount of luck. Yeah, we did get knocked a lot. We got pretty lucky here. Cause I mean, it should have bounced off this hill and took it a deep and should have gone with that ball is floating in the water. But we have 94 yards. Grants in there close. Got a good lie. Land about 90, 88. Let it roll back there. Oh no, 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 go. That, that's pretty good. I know there's water over there though. It might be long actually. Hey, that's impressive because that ball, Dang, to that even get so down cool. to that golf ball, you gotta be like <laughs> right here. Hey, Grant, can you take the pin out or are you just gonna go up there and I'll take it out. practice? I just realized something looking at it from this side, and this is why you look at putts from both sides because thing is straight downhill. No, it's just gonna go right. You saw him on peel left. The grain's going that way too. Hey, good par. Out of the bunker. And another thing to note is par 70 here, so all you have to do is shoot one under and you're in the 60s. Head in the hole, head in the third hole, par three, all square. 197 yards to the pin, 190 yards to cover the bunker. Good par three today. Gotta hit a good shot. That's all there is to it. 197, I'm going with a five iron. Keep the pedal down. Oh no. Out in front of it a little bit. To the right. Okay. Good little layup. Good comfy yardage in. <laughs> George. Hey, just wait. Win. Don't take it, win. Don't take it, win. Good shot. Good swing. Thanks. Good swing. Bite, bite. Bite. First little bit of adversity. We've started out with a pretty stress free start for me. Now we got to get up and down. If you're going to miss it, this is the place to do it. We're up the hill into straight the away grain. into the grain. Be aggressive here. Oh, shot. No way that's short. I thought that thing was going to release a little bit, but we got an uphill putt for our par. Downhill right to left or uphill a little bit, then downhill right to left the rest of the way. Oh, man. No, that was a way better putt than I did in college. I wasn't a great putter in college. No. 
I pulled it a little bit. We're now one over. George is still even through three holes. Nothing crazy to start out this match yet. We're gonna have some tricky holes coming up. This is the hole that I remember playing and it is difficult. Fourth hole out here is currently one over to even par. Fourth hole is, how long is this? Fourth hole here is 416 yards. George has the honors. Long way in, but that was really nice. That was rip. Yep. I'm gonna have like probably close to 200. But hey, this is a this is a good par four today. The wind quartering off the left. Hit it go in there, Grant. Tight Trust off it, the right tee. Bunker. Nice. Oh, spun it. Yeah, it's gonna be out there with me, but you're safe. And it, I think fairway too. Yeah. Guys, look, this tee shot is so intimidating. You have that giant marsh all down the left side. If you pull it a little bit, you're in it. I uh, I didn't want to bring this up before I hit the tee shot, but the last time I was here playing a tournament, not, you did, not you hit it in the hazard. I hit a skyed three wood <laughs> oh, into the hazard. In I'd, college. In college, and I had to stand up on this tee shot and hit it again because there's nowhere to drop. So I was like, well, it's great. I mean, literally pop fly. And I'm like, it's, you know, we're playing some good golf. Like we're in the, in the big of this tournament. I'm like, what did I just do? <laughs> That's it, the worst feeling. And then it's not like you, you have to re-hit the shot after you just skied one. So I had some fairly bad memories of this hole. So to step up and hit a solid one was a big relief, not gonna lie. What a beast of a hole here. I got 186 to the pin after that drive. I almost have to hit a four iron. That swing. I miss hit it. It's gotta go so hard. Oh, that's, that's plenty. You're right, go. We're gonna have a 100 foot putt. All right, all right, all right. 170 in the wind. We're gonna hit this 180 yard shot, the seven iron. Try to start it just right at that bunker. Honestly, maybe even right at Grant's ball, play it, draw, let the wind take you a little bit more. Oh my goodness, it's right at it. Is it enough? It's right at it. Oh, it's a good swing. Far. Guys, he's a ball striking no, clinic to watch. I mean, he doesn't miss, it's crazy. God, we got our work cut out. George is actually chipping out of the rough, so here's my opportunity. Let's get it up there close. I get to have to take a club length. What are you doing? I'm in a sprinkler head. Oh, okay. This guy, he's cheating. He cheater. Oh, Grant's kind of roll out, go a little left. Good shot, George. Thank you. Keep tricky putt I've left myself with. Down the hill, left to right, slider. That's all right. Broke right on me. Come on, George. Thank you. Okay. Gonna have to keep fighting, guys. We're two back now. We are two over through four. George is even. Right where we want to be. George, I gotta say, so far though, it's tricky. It's very, very tricky, and I, I didn't really realize. I, I honestly didn't either. I thought I was like, yeah, you know, you, you can shoot some low numbers because you see the tour guys, they shoot some low numbers. If there is no win, you can. But like these first four holes, you gotta have control of your golf ball. What, yeah. are the, what is like the winning score out here? There's though? been like some. Deep into like 18 under, 19 under, 20 under, like some really. I'm uh, pretty sure, like some 64, 63. Like Tommy Gaines shot 59 here for 60 to win one year. Oh. All right, then maybe it's maybe I'm just. I don't know. I mean, Fifth hole here is interesting. Could go for the green if you're dead downwind. It's only 312 to carry, but today we have a breeze into us, so we're gonna have to aim a little left here and play the hole how it's designed. Set a smidge, set, bite, set, bite. Oh, right. okay. I guess set. that's the line. Okay, I'm going right where George just went, just right of that bunker out there. That's it. Yep, very nice. Fairway, yeah. fairway yeah. fairy. Just gotta hope George is up against a tree root and he has no golf swing. Guys, we're in the fairway here, 116. I'm gonna hit this absolutely full. Should spin back. Wow. 
I'm gonna get out there to the right. I tried to draw this guy, but. I mean, that divot is exactly where that ball was. I know. I tried to hook that thing, but just didn't have the hook on it. Thanks, George. Great strike. One, uh, 102. Tree's in the way, but not really in the way. It's just more visually in the way. End of the wind, 105 shot. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit 54. I'm gonna hit like a little three quarter 54. Thank you. Great shot. Well, smooth. One thing I'm working on today, and you guys hold me accountable and look for, is I've been struggling with my wedges and short irons, but I've gotten really quick and like, whew. and so today my my only swing thought my wedges and short irons is really everything, really smooth uh, tempo and backswing. So be on the lookout because I, like you said, my swing's good, and if I just can keep it kind of like Grant, if I can keep swinging like Grant, just that tempo town USA, I really feel like my like, full swing's gonna be a good spot. Last time I played a real 18 hole match against Shorts, I think was the YouTube Championship. We only finished one shot back. We had a putt on the final hole of time, so I'm I'm hanging in there today. Inside left edge, left edge and firm. Keep the speed up, keep the commitment up. Hot George. Thank you. All right. Okay. Good birdie, George. Thank you. Gotta make this. See? Just commit to it. All right. George He's now back. is back. One. I'm back. I made a par. There we go. George is now one under after the birdie. I'm two over par. Just gotta get hot. This guy's not gonna give it to me. Well, George. Yes? You officially broke the ice. You made the first birdie. That's huge for the video. I mean, it's huge for confidence, too. One under par. Yeah, and you got, you have Q school coming up very soon. So, September 20th to the 22nd, so whenever this video comes out, September 20th to 22nd, I'll be playing in my pre-qualifying, which will be my first stage, at Irish Creek in Kannapolis, North Carolina. I'm trying to make it into your first PJ Tour. Yeah, so I have four, if I finish playing well in each qualifying stage, I could theoretically have my PJ Tour card in December. Dude, I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna be, and I'm for you on TV. Then I'll win a PJ Tour event next year, and uh, I'll say I got. And then we'll go to the Masters. Yeah. And then we'll YouTube, we'll vlog the Masters. We'll do a 1v1 at Augusta. George has the honors here. 157 yards, downhill, downwind. Finally. 150. Yeah. Is that, that, you think that's right? 150? Yeah, probably 150. Right. No. no, what have I done? Carry. Oh, it carries. Boy, that carries somehow. How about that follow through, huh? I mean, you almost. It, no, I hit myself. I hit my button in my follow through. I went like this. I did. Oh no. Hold it. Okay. Should yeah. I kick a little right? Center of the green. Yeah, good swing. Thank Thank you, George. It's not my greatest, but I need, I need to stick it closer than that. We have a double breaker here for our birdie. Let's get some good speed. We've been off on our speed control all day. It's a good pot. Oh, speed's good. Nice. Hey, good three. Steel trap. Oh, no. I'm... Whoa. Whoa. He'll make this, because he's built for these putts, but still some work. Nice putt. Wow. Give a fist pump to the sixth hole, par three. Not a lot, just felt like a big putt there. Don't wanna let the momentum get away. That was nice, because that ball went in the hole and it had room on both sides. That's how dead center it was. Big hole ahead, our first par five of the day is the next hole. I'm two over, George is one under. Yeah, there's only two par fives today. Par five, downwind, a little right to left down. 5.30 to like 5.25, cut up the left side, and just rip it. Oh, that's pretty good. Fine. Pretty good, yeah, the right side. Yep. There's water that comes up up there. You're in the fair. Yeah, all right, sweet. Confirmation. Come on, Grant. Need a good one here. Oh, big drive. Good shot. Thank you. Left, like I was trying to get it, but take it. Okay, 
I can I can hang with George, but my putter is what needs to get hot if I want to hang with him. It's kind of held me back today. I should only be one shot back, you know? Or I should actually be like, if you actually, so you should I mean, birdie the first. No, I, in second. Looking back at golf, you can always look back and critique it, but today, I mean, the first two holes, I had great birdie looks. And that stings. Hey, George. I'm gonna have, I hit that 320. I'm gonna have 211. I'm gonna hit that drive 320. Yeah. No, you did not. So I did. Watch. How did so you I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have 211 yards to the middle of the green. Do you actually hit your driver 320 when you hit it good? No, but it was high. It was the wind's downwind. It should be firm, a little down, downhill. How far do you hit your driver when you hit it really good? 295 carry. I just got this club, guys. It's a two iron. This is my first time hitting it. We have 265 to the pin, and I have to keep it under this tree. We have to hit a stinger here. I just needed to draw. Cause that was there, George. Yep. That was a kill. You're a hunt. You're you're right here. You have 95 yards in the hole. No. Yes, you do. All right, here we go. 245 to the pin. A little downhill. A little down. Well, downwind. Played about 230 yard shot. Stock three iron. Let the rest do the rest. I hit that two iron good. I think we're just right of that waist bunker. Should be able to get it up and down. But this is this is big here. If he sticks this, George can make an eagle. Oh my, it's at the center of the green. Oh, long, long. Oh no, there's water over the green in there. There's not water, it's a waste area. That was hammered. <laughs> oh, dude, you flew, that landed on the green and just jumped off the back. <laughs> wow. What did you hit there? Three iron. From how far? 245. I mean, it's like, was... a, it's, like a two, it's like a two and a half iron. That was Maybe I should have gone with a high boy. cut. Dang it. This is huge right now, guys. George really doesn't have a swing. His ball's not in a good position, and I have a chance here to get up and down for birdie. Oh, gosh. It's kind of dead. And I took a 60. That felt really good. Oh, just on the back. We got a putt. The match could very well come crashing down in my face because we hit a great shot. I just didn't know there was hazard of the green, so that's my that's on me. Lands center of the green, bounces over, but we have a semi swing. Can't get in there right handed, but I can kind of get in here left handed and, and hack something out like that. And we're gonna go for it because we're not. I mean, what are you doing in Q school, George? Probably take a drop right here and play miss make bogey because it is this is a hazard that runs right here, so I could drop right here. Still get up and down for par, but since the match, you gotta try things in practice. Stroke play though, George. That's fine, I'm gonna get this up and down and make birdie. Watch. Oh. Now we gotta play a birdie. <laughs> uh, that's why you hit the left-handed shot. That's incredible. <laughs> Sick birdie. One that I can put in the highlight reel. Oh my gosh. George. George. Kind of spoke into existence. George. Oh, you're watching this on Instagram and YouTube because I, I said I was going to have to click. <laughs> George. Thank you. Hello, that birdie, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Good job, George. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding? Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on. That's actually what pretty cool. Hole. That is pretty cool. That's a roller coaster. Wow. A left-handed birdie, and then I drain a pot. That's crazy. Two of the most wild birdies I've seen in a while. Wow, okay. Well, that takes me to one over. George is two under. Oh gosh, he still got me by three shots. Hey, at least I'm not four down. That was absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I'm i still in shock. I, it's one of those ones where you kind of not dream of those, but you, you always talk yourself through about these grand shots and they never end up working. But this is the one you talk it through, so you get kind of like- Well, you went from- you get, you get hyped. You went from water. potentially a- Bogey. A bogey. Maybe, maybe worse. Even worse, if you like- Duff it. Duff it two feet <laughs> to a birdie. As yeah. a two shot potential swing. But so, like you can but that that is the key to golf is the, even if you have these weird tricky like kind of punch outs where you're not like really doing anything normal, but you still have to go through those routines like see the shot land, visualize a shot, and act as if you've been there before. Even though I've, I haven't hit a left-handed chip shot in 
a long time. I don't know when to practice that, but you did trick shots growing up. Eighth hole here is 355. It's one of my favorite holes out here. Um, you can take it over this bunker and have a little wedge shot in. I'm gonna take it over, try to take it over the left side of this bunker with a cut. Holy rope. This is a two yard fade. That was beautiful. Thank you. That, was, that felt good. Right rush my head with a cut. I think you got a pretty wide fairway here, but still you have to always, you just gotta commit to those drives, even, doesn't matter how big the fairway. Yep. That is good. I'm a, I, George is like inspiring me to hit a fade. Like, I love I, it. I almost want to try hitting fades more often because it's like he's just so controlled and he's exiting left. George, that's honestly impressive how straight you hit that driver. Right? I wish I wish everyone could actually see. I mean, you guys see the tracer, but I wish you could actually see how straight George hits the driver. It's scary. I'll say I'm an elite level. Like I, if, if you're comparing me to PJ Tour drivers, like I don't know, I would stay. I would be in the upper echelon of driving for sure. Like, you would. That's, that's just a strength of mine. So anything your whatever your strong suit is, naturally you're going to be more comfortable and like confident over those shots, and that's just what. It, you know you guys see so it does, it does make a difference okay george got me by a good bit here he's up there as a little chip shot i have 70 yards oh dude that was cool yeah yeah what's up man say at least hey. what's your name clay Nice to meet Clay you, Kuna. Kuna. You having a good time out yeah, here? Yeah, we're having a great time. Oh man, it's awesome. Got it. I'm getting Appreciate it, bro. I'm getting beat by this guy, but uh, it's no. our that guy up there. Okay. He's this really place good. Is sweet, dude. Dude, it's awesome. Yeah. Hey, enjoyed it. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, y'all appreciate it, man. Yeah. Grant's in there. Uh, hey, good shot, Grant. Well, pitch and run, land it short right. There's a slope that's going to take it uh, feet to the left. Run it back there. Make birdie. Oh gosh. Oh, George just stuck it to three feet. I got about eight feet up the hill, left to right. We gotta make it. Just arm lock, he's back, everyone. Just so y'all know, two holes ago, three holes ago, he was like, I'm done with arm lock. Yeah, I'll he consider did. keeping it. I'll consider keeping it. Or even par, this is for George to get to three under. All right. All right, good birdies. We just made back to back birdies and you did the same thing. Even par at three under though? That's four birdies for us in the last two, two holes. holes. Birdie barrage. See how many likes we can get for George and I's first true 18 hole 1v1. And first true back to back birdies for both of us on the same round in an 18 hole match. First ever, ever, ever. Yeah. George, I, I hate to even bring up this word, but let's just, the word, um, it's called plateau. Yeah, it gets in him. I, I know a word that gets in George's head really bad a word that gets in your head george you know what it is what tell me plateau oh my gosh i said that one time you hit one you hit one just because you said that and it's, it's a different verse of george today there will be no plateaus we're gonna be climbing until we can't climb anymore all right what we are gonna do is gonna hit a fade inside that bunker fade it off of it um take a good target commit to it stay aggressive and go to the next shot got that on a row. Dude, he's refused to plateau since you said that. Grantford. See, it's in your head. Look at that. He's going to keep bringing it up. Because, see, it just takes one word like Rent that. Rent free. Rent free. Oh. That was. Oh, wow. Look at Fade Grant. He's so confident right now, he doesn't even know what to do. Didn't go anywhere. I spun it. See, that's, that's the issue with me and hitting a fade. I tend to just spin them like that, but they stay like really straight. George got me again, guys, by a lot, but we have 146 to the pin, eight iron here. Dude, go left, good strike. Oh. Good shot. Pulled it. That was a nice bad. strike. It was a nice strike. I just pulled it way offline. Uh, if I hit a full lob wedge right here, I feel like it rips off the green. So I need to hit a, like a three quarter 54. But I'm uncomfortable with doing that. So do you think to prepare myself for tournament golf, do I just try to hit the three quarter 54? Three quarter 54 all day. Or goes with something comfortable and just hit a hard lob wedge? No. Three quarter 54. To practice? Yes. I'm, I'm half convinced of what I'm gonna do here. Okay. No, we're ripping it back. It's downwind. It's downwind, so if this was a back pin, I would consider that 54. But we're gonna hit just a 58, try, try to land it past, spin it back. Go with what you're comfortable with. Always, always go what you're comfortable with. 
Oh, we hooked it. That's gonna work. Looks like it could go in. Go. Oh my goodness. Okay, full lob wedge. Got a, I did I did get a little way with it. Got a little out in front of it. Okay, who am I? I'm not gonna complain about hitting it to three feet. He hit it to three feet and he's dissecting it. George is back in there to, my goodness, like three, four feet. So, gotta drill a long one here. What? I tried to tell him. I, tried, I legit tried to give you the read. All right, lock in. George. That's bad. Grant, hey, you're doing You're going to miss putts every now and then. It does sting, but we still shot three under on the front, so I am not going to complain. Grant, gifted you one here. There we go. We are three shots back now. George just gifted me one. That was for him to get to four under through nine holes. Just a crazy level just of golf. Just a little push. <laughs> he literally had a straight. That's crazy. But maybe I got in his head off the tee. You never know. Oh, um, so that was a plateau. But don't say that word around George. It's actually, oh, okay. it's a sensitive. Nine more holes to go. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. I'm even par. George is three under. We've reached the back nine here. Hole 10, straight away par four. It's a good one. Stack up, hit a good drive, commit to it. Should be that went right to left on the last hole. So it should be like into, I don't know, maybe going that way, this way. I don't know. Nice swing. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh, you see how lucky that was? We got the fade going on that one pretty good. Not gonna lie. That thing stayed up in the perfect little area for us. I told you the wind just took it. See, the I'm wind. I'm trying to hit a cut here, George. Watch this. This is actually got exciting. Try I need to start that left. Okay. How you cut? Definitely. See. You just start in the middle of the yeah, fairway. Exactly. The problem is with a cut, you actually have to start a cut to the left of your target. And I struggle to do that. I want you guys to let me know what I should do because I've been I've been thinking about playing a fade. I just wanted to change it up and see, but everyone says they like the draw that I've naturally hit. So I wanna I wanna hear from you guys what I should go to. Should I start hitting fade to just see if maybe that would help me? Or should I just keep slinging the draw? I've been taking more club today. It's 166 to the pin here. And I'm gonna take a six iron and try and fly it past it, and there's a giant slope, it should come back towards the pen. I think I missed the slope. I think we're gonna go pitch wedge. We need to go get more club. All right, here we go, sandy lie. Ball above your feet, so I gotta choke down the shaft. It's gonna take some distance off, a little in the wind. So we got 130. 120 is all we need to carry it, but we need to hit just a 135 shot, I think, with this, sand, uh, with this pitching wedge. Oh, Holy. bite. Bite. What just happened? Bite. What? Totally meant to do that. Or did I professionally skull it? Comment down below. <laughs> That's a tough fly, right in the sand. It came out low and spinning out of the sand. I sculled it. Uh, you can take it out, George. I don't care. Lag this one. This takes a lot of touch here. Got to get up on that hill and let it feed. Oh, sit. 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 Okay. No way. Oh. Oh, Grant! Kind of scaring me, George. Hey, good putt nonetheless. Hey, good par, stress-free par. All right, well, that's a two pars. George almost got to four under again. He's scaring me a little bit, but now it's time. I just gotta, I gotta let everything out there go for every pin, try and make every putt. I mean, I'm trying that either way, but I want to catch him. It's gonna take a lot. Hey, this is a little into the wind here. 420, fade it up the left. Over here. It's fine. Yeah. Fade back. Great shot. Kind of thanks. How do you hit no spin fade? It's flat I have zero idea. I swing my swing and it comes off like that. That is legitimately the best I can offer. Oh, I love yeah. that. That's so perfect. 
And it got a massive kick forward. Beautiful, we're heading out towards the ocean. These views are unbelievable. Okay, 133 yards from my drive. I'm gonna go with a punch nine iron. There's some wind coming off the ocean. We're getting to the point where we gotta start making some birdies. A little left, I think we're on the green. Just gotta hit it closer than that. 114 into the wind, 120 shot, three quarter 50 degree. Full 54 will spin back too much, so three quarter 50. Little right, draw it in there. Bite, bite, go. Not bad. A little off of my uh, yardage reaction. <laughs> good shot on the left. Dude, that swing was good, George. I filmed, I filmed George's golf swing here, we're looking at it. Dude, look how much shackling you have. <laughs> I know. That's one is a blessing and a curse. I like it, but it does cause some like slight um, inconsistencies from time to time. You know, well, the thing is, with just... shackling, the way you offset it, the side bend. So Dustin Johnson has an absurd amount of shackling, but he off he offsets it with side oh, bend. I got nothing. Not even shot. Uh, oh, I'm short. Left to right chip here, down the hill. What is George doing? Pink. He's working on his swing while peeing. You were working on your golf swing while you were peeing. Here we go. I'm feeling All this right. one. Hey, chip in, cut the lead, and then I'll make it. Oh my gosh, he did it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Dude, we, we fit we finished everything out today. Everything. I tried giving it to him. He said, no, no, that's what you, that's what you need to keep people like me accountable. But we have a big right to left here. Um, I got a pretty good read. There's like a little, two little ball marks. If it goes over the right one, in my opinion, I've hit a good putt and it'll go in. Oh, See, this is for you guys to call me plat the plateauer. See, look See? Like you're in his head, Sky. Still. We have never been more in George's head because over that putt, he was thinking, okay, this is, this is I time. I have to make it. this. Yeah, I don't plateau. want to plateau or they're going to be able to actually say it. And then he made it and he's like, now I can say I'm not plateauing. Five iron, full five iron, I think it's too much. It'll be, they'll fly pin high and go over. He just cut it off that plateau up there. Okay, okay. There's plateaus everywhere around here, George. You just don't want to be one of them. 205 shot. Holy pure. Holy pure. Oh! Dude, that went over the grit. You almost hit Carney. Four! How, how pretty was that? A, a, a cut five iron? I was in between five and six. Maybe I should hit the six. Pull five iron here. Be good. Go! Come on, baby. We got a chance here. Chance to get a shot back. Maybe even two. Maybe even three. This is the hardest up and down I've ever seen. Shoo! Uh, All right, here we got a tough one. We have left ourselves a predicament, but you land something in this little downgrade spot, let it release, trickle on the green. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. I thought, I thought it was just gonna snake back to the right and go in. Down the hill left to right should be pretty quick. Here, George. That's huge. That was big. That was great up and down. I really, the second that ball came off the putter face, I thought I made it. So it's okay. I'm four shots back. George is four under. I'm even. We are on the 13th hole, 408 yards. George has the honors once again. He's had the honors all day. Oh my gosh. I did I did a chunk three wood. We got a repeat. <laughs> I've never seen this. <laughs> George, I've never even seen you like I've done it. I've done that before. Look at this. Just check that out. That's, this is where I hit it. Well, we gotta re uh, recalibrate. 
Maybe we should hit driver? I should not hit driver. Holy crap. Okay, we birdie, guys. It's time to focus up. What a shot. I mean... Didn't you sit? No, I, I hit it. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe I should hit driver? Nice shot. I can't believe this right now. I almost, want to, I almost want to hit three wood again just to like to practice it, but boy, I, don't, I mean, we gotta we gotta knuckle up here. Nice play. Yeah. Well, I guess that's okay. Shot. I mean, I should have hit driver, yes, but I hit three wood. A, there'll be some times in tournaments where I just have to hit three wood off a of tee. Didn't quite know where to hit driver, but man, this is gonna cost this. This hole could cost me. George, you're just such a nice guy. I mean, you did that on purpose just to let me back in it. That's what we do, just. I'm just annoyed, I gotta, like, not, like, just hook in the hazard ring, but no, you can't. Still, I've never seen, never seen George do that. No, nope. this guy. Haven't either. It's a new one. At least we know he's human now. Yep. I had questions before, but. 155 yards into the wind, eight iron, full. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Lord. Uh oh! A lot of wind up there, huh? We got a flighty pitch wedge, 120. It's probably playing about 130 with the wind. It's gonna play like a 130 shot pitch wedge. That was so nice. Directionally might be a little off, but I am proud of that shot. Yeah, it was a smooth swing, smooth strike, good distance. Hey, I haven't played a bogey. As crazy as this sounds, guys, we have a chance now, if I chip this in, to tie it up. He makes a double. If he doesn't make that, I chip this in, we are all tied up. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it lived out. I cannot believe it! I did, George. I just said we gotta go big or go home. <laughs> that was the tie at all. The heck, man. Sky, how did that not go I in? I don't understand. It's time to rise the occasion. Come on, 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 come on. No! Short! All right, we are only one shot back now after George. Oh, wait, I'm two shots back. No, oh, never mind. We, we couldn't have tied it up. We were four yeah. back, Sky. I was. I thought we were three I back. Have you could have made. We could have tied it up. I forgot. You would have had a three putt. Okay. Well, we're two shots back now after that. I was wrong. No, I, I forgot George was four. I thought he was three. It's crazy. But yeah, two shots back, even to two under. This right here is one of the most iconic holes. If you watch the PGA Tour event, the RSM Classic, this is one that I always remember out here on the marsh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Four. That's a fade, all right. Get through it all. I, what that is. I honestly have no idea what that is. You gotta miss a big sometimes, and I think that's just fine. Take advantage of a good drive. All right, I'm there. Oh no. You might carry it off. Uh oh. Yeah. Might carry it off. It's, it's a tight. Left to right wind is a, it's a tough wind. Probably should have just taken it further left and just played a big peeler. But yeah, we might be okay. Well, like that's the beautiful thing. We could be perfectly fine. Yeah, we're gonna be over in those dunes a little bit. We could be all right. I could be okay. But also, we could be just in a whirlwind. That's the tough thing about this. These kind of visually intimidating golf courses. You know, you're not really sure how far. You probably have more room left than you think. Right. And so it like tricks you into like taking a little further right, and then you miss it just a touch. Wind takes it more, and you end up way right, like yeah. kind of like us. Stuff See, I think you might have hit it for a lot. Oh. You probably hit it too far right, and you're gonna be fine. Oh no, I'm gonna, uh oh. Oh no. So I hit that good, so it's gonna be up in here. I hit mine good, I'm like in this area. Oh, right there. There's one ball. All right, we're over here in the dunes. We got a great break because I could have been in that stuff up in there. We ended up on a little patch here. 122 to the pin, got a pitching wedge. A little short. 
got the sand into my eye. Here we go. We have quite the daunting task. We have today low hook. The good news is we got plenty of room right. We can kind of just like throw it out right. And if it gets up to the green, so be it. Um, but we are aiming this well right. Low hook, 50 degree, 105. These situations, you kind of hit it and hope. Oh my good. No way. Soft. How pretty was that? That, that was, was sick. Oh, I just landed soft. Another chance here, another chance for a chip in. I chunked it. Oh, chunk and run. It was a good chip. <laughs> it worked out perfect. Great chip, George. Two up and downs. Hey, those, those were big because we could have easily walked away with bogeys after those drives. We grinded it out. We did what we had to do. Then that could have been a big score for one of us, but it's even to two under, two shots back. We have four holes to go here. It feels good only being two shots back. That's reachable. Par five. Four is tough. Par five here. Let's talk about the view for a second. This is unbelievable. I don't know what body of water this is. We're in Georgia here, Sea Island, Georgia. There's people fishing. I got to take it over, over the tree, right? Over the tree. Got to get after this. I got it teed high. Let it fly. Par five. We'll see what we got. Nice shot. Same exact line. We're gonna be able to get after it in two shots. This is where it could get really wild. He might be able to reach it. So I'm not feeling good about this. I think I I need it. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Alright. Hole right. 15, only two shots in the back. Good. I mean it's, it's, it's been funny. a grind. Yes, because you had me by four shots, George. Uh-oh. I don't see it feels any good. I don't Oh, we'll be okay. I don't see any golf balls. We're gonna be just No, do you fine. see any golf balls? Oh no, George, you gotta start panicking. I've already panicked. Let's see one golf ball. Um, uh, panicking. There's one right here. Yours could be in the bunker. No, mine's, well, mine's left the bunker. Down oh, slope. I see it. Come good. on! We're good. Okay, here we go. We only have 255 to the pin. I got my three wood here. I feel good that I can actually reach this. Carries. Uh oh, he's carnies. It's over the back. Uh oh, carnies. He's he'll, he's still panning. I think we're okay. I mean, we went over the back of the green. We gotta hope for a nice break here. I gotta see what George does. I think he probably only has like a four iron to this pin. I feel good about my short game. I'm starting to feel confident with the putters though. Should be able to get up and down. 242. Uh, we got four iron now. We hit three iron on the first par five. Went over the green, so we're gonna go with the four iron. Try to keep it short of that pin if possible. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, it's right at it. It's right at it. Oh break. my gosh. With the arm raise. Oh boy. Plateau. Oh boy. Up. Arm raise. I do not like the carny arm up. raise. Scoot over. Oh no. It's all, hey, uh, this is the scout's fault. Oh, that, that plateau talk. Gosh. I think you're actually really close for Eagle. I believe so. If Parney's raising his arm yeah. like that, you have to be close. George is now guaranteed a birdie. Absolutely. He couldn't make an eagle, so I got to get this up and down. Golly! Nice shot. Come on. Let's go. They're really like soft. Pillows. They're really soft. I can, I'm barely holding this putter. Oh. Dude, heck of a birdie. Thank you. Yeah, it's a big putt. You knew you pulled it. Just a, a toad a little bit. The wind, it. the wind came across a little bit. Tapping birdies feel good. I don't care how how close that for eagle. Two stroke lead, three to play. Hey, after those shots from the fairway, for us to walk off, same score, it feels amazing. I'm one under, he's three under. Guys, if you one haven't under. already though, subscribe to the Brian Rose Golf Channel. Don't even take, wait, just stay right here, watch the end of this match. Got 165, apparently, front left pin, par three to the win. 
a, a tricky pin placement. Tricky pin placement, but very scoreable. Super interesting hole here. Three holes to go. This hole's 378. George, show me where to hit it. Wait, I think you have the honor. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah. All I didn't care is some water. Dude, that stinks. <laughs> we got a jokester on our hands today. That was big drive. That was big. Oh, okay. For whatever reason, it's just like two stroke lead, just find fairways, find fairways, and then you can breathe and go to the next shot. That's what we did there. Drawing a 60 again? Yep. I got a 60 degree, George is up there, but I like being back here. We got 80 yards, we can spin it more. I can't believe it made it to the green. I had a foot behind it. It's not the easiest shot we've left ourselves. 44 to the hole, 34 to cover. Let's get, let's get creative. Fight. Fight. Oh, pull it too far. Straight up the hill here. I gotta get it there. I gotta go for it at this point. This is a massive put. If I make this, three up, two to go, it's gonna be huge. Yes! That was a committed stroke. Read it good. I mean, you, get, you do have to get lucky from making a 40 footer, but. Great pot, George. What does that get you to? Minus four. Back to four. Looks like that double never happened. 163 yards into the wind, probably playing close to 180 with that, uh, with the wind. But we're gonna go three quarter seven, and if it gets there, great. But I think if I hit it solid, it should be the, the correct number. Win! Oh, yeah. oh no. Okay. Yeah, I know it's gonna kick. I know it all kicks feeds the left, but I thought the wind was gonna take a little more. Not bad. No, no, no. Solid strike. That's, but you do have an opening. Six Great. iron here. I think we got this. We the same shot. Tried to go for the hole in one there, I needed it. Still a shot, a really solid shot, I can't complain. Gosh, it's hard to beat this guy, Sky. He doesn't let up, he really doesn't. I did really have a chance if those first couple holes I got hot with the putter, but I was timid with the putter and just wasn't committed. Here we go, down the hill, right to left. Feel it in the fingertips, the speed. Dude. I, I halfway there I was like, dude, I think you just made it. You got a little intel there. It's pretty fast. I mean, it's a really fast putt, so speed is key. Just make it, see what he does. Nice putt. Come on, Grant. George is four under, I'm one under. Three back, heading into the final hole of this video. If you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for watching the channel. Really appreciate you guys. We got a lot of great stuff coming up. You guys have probably seen it, but if not, a lot of Rick Shields content. We got a Bob video coming out soon. We got a lot of cool stuff. It's gonna be a great month. I'm happy to have you guys along for the ride. Hey, George, let's talk about it. You have a three shot lead here heading into the final hole. Yeah, there, it, it pinches there. in like Hazard gets up there. Oh, wait, wait, come over here. Let me see. I'll come back up here. I gotta do some intel. He's got a three shot lead right now, George, and he's thinking about it. You see him. He's worried. I can't do it. What do you. It's 315 downhill, downwind to the hazard. All right, here we go. 430 yard par four. Do I want to hit three iron hybrid off the tee? No. But 315, it pinches in, and the hazard. Like, the only place I can't hit it right now is that hazard. Okay. And driver brings that into play because we know after that last, uh, last three, uh, three wood incident, we're not hitting that. Nice swing. Nice. Rip, too. Really good. And Drew. 
still probably gonna have like seven iron, maybe eight iron in. But yeah, I will, I'll, you guys know I love hitting driver, but I just I couldn't do it. And Wesley, if you're watching this video, he's gonna be like, George, why'd you hit three iron the last hole? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Uh oh. I tried to. Well, I have no idea what that is, but it's not. It's left. That was my worst swing all day. I, I the, nerve, the, ner the nerves got to you. Yeah. Wait, there's a chance it stayed up. Wait, there, there is. is. There's a chance. You, you scared all the birds off the island. Dude, you're going to be in this little island. Island time. Now there's a chance it's in. Oh, I see a ball. No, you do not. Yeah, I do. I see it right there. You know what you do not. And you can make birdie and I'll make double. No, you do not. I see it right here. The luckiest thing, I mean, there it is. <laughs> oh, it's in, Sky. What's the yardage, George? Anyone? <laughs> I thought for sure that was out. Like, I thought there was zero chance. Where did that land? 191 here. Super, I'm going with a super low four iron here. I really have a weird shot. I gotta keep it under this tree. I can get it there though. Wild after that drive. Yep. You beat that, even having a chip at par. All right, 170. Got nine iron. Um, it's time to overcome the demons here with this club. Had been too pretty. Had been too nice to me of late. But 170 downwind knocks it about 160. So just like a 155 a shot. Just a smooth nine iron. We get a little right. Play your draw and uh, just commit to it. Shot. So see those divots, a little flippy. Let's call them that good right here, but then you club face turns over. It's gonna be uh, promoting that hook like you see. Up and down here for a round in the 60s. Gotta do it. Oh. All right. That was just a complete push. I just pushed it. I blocked my uh, sand shot. She can do that. <laughs> Kind of flat, then the last 15 feet downhill down grain. It's gonna be a little quicker. All feeding to the right. Oh, had the read. Last two putts left short, huh, Grant? Great but rounding. This is a big what is that, 66? Yep. Holy moly. Just hit the break. Way too hard. Well, that's okay. That's an even par 70 for me. George just shot a 66, guys. That's unbelievable. Game I mean, you weren't even, I mean, you had a double and you shot 66. I know, and had two guys trying to pull against me. You know, hey, you're plateauing. So, I mean, I had everything go. I, had, had, I was the underdog, so that felt like. Yeah, well, I mean, it was just good for me to see where my game needs to get, because. It was good, you played well. Even par 70 on a PJ Tour course. Yeah. That's really good. So, it felt I mean, solid. It felt like sport, a good day. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. That's our first 18-hole match. We are going to have a rematch eventually on the Brian Bros channel. So stay tuned for that. But appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace. Adios.